What is up YouTube, it's your boy Catalyst and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on my opinion of the 10 best Call of Duty maps of all time. Coming in at number 10 we have Standoff. Now Standoff was great for a number of reasons. Um, it was good for competitive play and it was also just a fun map to play in pubs. You know it wasn't it wasn't too small of a map but you know, you basically had action going on at all times. Uh, the buildings were perfect. You know, you didn't have any like too high story of buildings, but you still had some buildings to venture into. Uh, the layout of the map, you know, wasn't the basic three lane map, but it was really well played out and the colors were beautiful. Coming in at number nine, we have a map from the newest Call of Duty, Fringe. Now I feel like Fringe was a great map for a number of reasons. Uh, a lot of maps you're going to see actually in this countdown have the have the middle street kind of design to them. And I really like Fringe because, you know, it, it plays kind of like an older Call of Duty. You know, there's not too many wall runs going on. And also, like, just the buildings are in good places. Uh, it has, like, the basic three-lane design. But I really like the way it looks and the way it plays. And overall, I just think it's a really good Call of Duty map that could be played on any, you know, other classic Call of Duties as well as this game. Coming in at number 8, we have Warhawk from Call of Duty Ghosts. Now this map may come as a surprise to you. Um, I know most people didn't like any maps in Ghosts, but I thought that Warhawk was actually a really fun map and uh, like was a perfect design. Much like the last map, Fringe, it also has that center street design, and the other two lanes are also really good for competitive play as well as public play. I think if this map would have been in another Call of Duty, you know, that would have been better than Ghosts, it would have been way higher on the list. Coming in at number 7, we have the one and only Nuketown. Now, it has been in three different Call of Duties thus far, but I feel like the Black Ops 1 version was probably the best. Now, personally, I'm not too fond of this map. I feel like I end up getting flanked a lot of the times. And in a pub, if you do end up getting thrown into a lobby with bad people, you can just get spawn trapped with kill streaks, and it can be pretty miserable. But overall, the design of the map is very simple. Uh, it looks really nice. You know, the colors are always great in the Black Ops games, and I do get the fun in the nonstop action. Coming in at number six, we have another Black Ops One map, Firing Range. Next to Nuketown on Black Ops 1, Firing Range was definitely the next uh, highest voted map. You know, whenever it would show up in a game, you would get it because it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a medium sized map, uh, you know, small to medium size, and everybody I think enjoyed playing on it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of gunfights, not too many buildings, just, you know, just using hit glitches and just trying to get as many kills as you could. Uh, there was a lot of action all the time and it looked very pleasing. It was just a really fun map to play on, and that's why it comes in at number 6. Coming in at the midpoint of the countdown, we have Crash from COD 4. Now this may be one of the most memorable Call of Duty maps. Uh, I think when a lot of people think about Call of Duty, they think of this map. The layout to this map is different than a lot of other maps. Uh, you don't really see the basic three lanes or anything. I mean, I guess you could kind of make it up, but it had its own layout to it, and it worked perfectly. Uh, the gunfights that happened at the airplane in the middle of the map were a ton of fun, and this map will always hold a special spot in my heart. Coming in at number 4 was my favorite Black Ops 2 map, Raid. Now this map had the basic three lane design, but with a little twist to it. Uh, the side with the statue was wide open, and it was fun to play Ring Around a Rosie with uh, other players and just rack up kill streaks. Uh, I love the colors in this map. It looks really great. Uh, the garage with the cars looks sweet. And it played really great for competitive play. I think this was a terrific map and I hope it does get remade in Black Ops 3. Coming in at number 3, we have Terminal. Now Terminal was also remade in MW3, but we're going to stick with the original. Uh, this map was great. Uh, it didn't have like the basic three lane design, but it looked beautiful, it played great, it was great for competitive, and I think this is 
a lot of people's favorite maps. Uh, I see it get remade in other games all the time. For these last two, uh, I had a tough decision. I wasn't sure which was my favorite map of all time, but at number two we have Crossfire. Uh, this game was in COD 4, so many of you guys might not remember it, but it was an amazing map. It also has that similar design we've seen a lot where there's a middle street and uh, just buildings on both sides. Uh, for Search and Destroy, the bombs were placed in great areas, and it played well in just about every game mode. Uh, the B down flag and domination was a little rough, but other than that, the look of this map was great for the time that it came out, and it played great. I'm surprised it hasn't been, re been remade in any other Call of Duty game because it may just be my favorite map of all time. And finally, my favorite map of all time, High Rise from Modern Warfare 2. Now this map brings back a bunch of great times from my childhood. Uh, just about any time we had the opportunity to play this map, me and my friends would upvote it and you know it was just a lot of fun. The pre-snipe where you could snipe someone all the way across the map uh, was a great time you know seeing if you can get a collateral or even a triple. Uh, the map design was great you had the the basic three lanes but also the underground route where you could flank the other team whether it be search or you know capture the flag any of those game modes worked great on this map because of that. You also had some good high vantage points the helipad was crucial to holding down because you could basically hold down the rest of the map like that. Uh, you could also spawn trap the other team, you know, a lot of these Call of Duties nowadays, the spawns don't work right, and you can't really spawn trap a team, you know, because you'll just get them spawning behind you, and this map was really easy to control the spawns. Uh, it looked great, it played great, and that is why it is the best map of all time. Now I know there's going to be some, uh, different opinions on this subject, so I put together another list of uh, honorable mentions, you know, maps that I thought were really, really fun to play on, but, you know, didn't quite make the list. Now, if you guys have any other opinions, please tell me down below what you think your top 10 favorite maps of all time are, and if you do want to see another top 10 video like this, please let me know as well. Uh, I know you guys all had different opinions, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys back again next week.